Hi guys, welcome to Educom Learning Platform Introduction to Chemistry by Musbaldin Oyedeji. The topic outlines are the definition of chemistry, the explanation of basic terms in chemistry, the physical and chemical changes as related to chemistry, and also differences between physical and chemical changes. As for the objective of this class, you are expected to be able to define chemistry, differentiate between atom, molecule, element, and compound, and also distinguish between physical and chemical changes. Now the definition of chemistry. Chemistry is the study of the composition, structures, properties, and transformation of matter. And matter is essentially anything in the world that takes up space and has mass. Chemistry is sometimes referred to as the center of science because it bridges physics with other natural sciences such as geology and biology. And when chemistry is put side to side with natural world, as in when chemistry is related with the natural world, we see that chemistry has many answers to some questions such as what makes iron to become rust and why propane is such an efficient burning fuel. Chemistry has the key to understanding the world as we know it. The study of chemistry can be organized into branches that emphasize on the subset of ke chemical concepts. Firstly, inorganic chemistry is the study of chemical components without carbon, while organic chemistry is the study of substances based on carbon, while physical chemistry is the study of the physical physical chemistry is the study of uh, chemistry as related to physics, while analytic chemistry is seeks to determine the exact chemical compositions of substances. Biophysical chemistry is the use of physical chemistry as related to biology context, while biochemistry is the study of the chemical compositions contained in living things such as the DNA and protein. Now the terms in chemistry. Atom, molecule, ions, element, and compound atomicity will be explained. Firstly, atom. Atom is the smallest particle which can take part in the chemical reaction. It may or may not be able to, um, or may, it may or may not be capable of independent existence. It is now known to be contained of centrally located nucleus surrounded by an a cloud of electron. The nucleus contains neutron and proton. A molecule is a group of two or more atoms that is held together by a chemical bond. This must be of the same type or kind of atom. Next is ions. Ions is an electrically charged atom or group of atoms that is formed by a loss or gain of electron by an atom. And there are two types of ions. We have the cation and the anion. The cation is positively charged ion and is formed by the loss of electron from an atom. The, sign, the positive sign is at the top right corner in front of the symbol. And the anion is a negatively charged ion and is formed by the gain of electron by an atom. And is also represented with a negative sign on the right top corner of the symbol. Now element. It is a substance which cannot be split into two or more simpler substances by usual chemical methods of maybe applying heat, light, or electric energy, such as hydrogen, oxygen, sodium, etc. Compound. A compound is a substance made up of two or more elements chemically combined in a fixed ratio by weight. For example, water, written as H2O, is a chemical compound made up of two elements. Hydrogen and oxygen that are chemically combined in a fixed proportion of one ratio eight by weight. And this compound they have to be of the same of different type of elements. And this you must take note that for a molecule they must be of the same atom, but for a compound it has to be of different atom elements that are combined to form a compound. Atomicity is the number of atoms present in a molecule of an element or a compound. For example, oxygen and ozone. Oxygen containing two atoms of oxygen and ozone containing three atoms of oxygen. 
it, and water, for example, we see that all these ones, they are, they are an example of molecule, but water is an example of compound. Now, as you know that many various things around us, they undergo different changes. Now, we'll be able to explain, so that we'll be able to differentiate between uh, physical and chemical changes, which are the main types of changes which occurs to matter. Physical change. This is a process that causes changes to only the appearance of a substance and not its chemical compositions. For example, burning of candle wax, which when melted or burned, it's in a liquid form. But when it is cooled down, it assumes its initial solid state, which means there is no changes in its chemical composition. Also, dissolving salt in water. Disappearance of salt in water during, when dissolving will be reappeared when the water is evaporated. And as related to melting of ice and blending of smoothies, all these, they have no changes to their chemical compositions, but only changes in their appearance. Why chemical change is a process that causes a substance to change into a new substance with a new chemical formula. For example, rusting of iron, which becomes oxygenated and turns it into a brown color, changing its chemical component. And burning of wood, this changes to ashes when burned. And fermentation process also changes its chemical component. Cooking also changes chemical component of substances. Now we take note that unexpected color changes or odor also often indicate a chemical change. Now, home form for your differences between physical and chemical changes. Physical change and chemical change, they are different and their process is also different. At times, chemical change, we call it chemical reaction, which causes a change in the chemical formula of substances. First, firstly, physical change forms no substances. No new substance is formed when it comes to physical change. But chemical changes, new substances are always formed. And physical change, it is reversible, which means the initial substance can be regained during this process. But for chemical change, it is irreversible, which means the initial substance may or may not be regained. Physical change, there is no change in mass. Whereas in chemical process, there is a change in the mass because new substance is being formed. Next is little or no amount of it is involved during a physical change, but during a chemical change, large amount of it is required. Now, home form for you all. Take this at your own layer time and be able to so that you'll be able to assess yourself whether you understand this lesson or you have to reach watch this video. First is define chemistry in your own word. Second, apart from the ones mentioned in the lesson, mention two examples each of molecule and compound. Third, give three examples each of physical and chemical changes and submit to the email shown on your screen. Training at educom.ng. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also share.